Welcome back Guardians to another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we are going to be looking at all the drops Well not all the drops, there's only three drops Three of the weapons I got from Iron Banner this time around I did make it to rank 5 I actually made it on actual live stream And I just wanted to say guys before we start this video I am still looking for Nightfall reward screenshots from For the Nightfall community rewards episode So if you check the video description you'll see a link to that video Go back and watch it and it'll explain how to send in your Nightfall screenshots to me, but let's get into the weapons that I got and I got the Gellion's Demise The shotgun fell winter's lie and Yolder's or Jolder's hammer, which I obviously bought from Lord Saladin So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up because the Gellion's Demise for me is amazing So the Jolder's hammer I bought this and um, rolled it about three or four times just you know It's not that big of a deal that I have this weapon, but I do know it's really good in crucible So I thought I'd buy it so I have um, fire damage and I'm just waiting to get enough glimmer to level up this and the shotgun um, I just can't be asked to grind it at the moment but on this anyway I got feeding frenzy kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short time we have counterbalance that increases the weapon stability and I also got three very good rolls in the middle perfect balance for extra and extremely low recoil but it doesn't actually need this because it doesn't bounce around too much anyway we have Hammer Forger improves range and accuracy and I go with Flared Madwell to reload the weapon faster because all LMGs have a slow reload rate but all three middle rolls are really good and useful on this gun. So that is Jolder's Hammer. Next we have the Fell Winter's Lie. Now I re-rolled this twice and I got quite a good roll. So we have a kill with the final round in this magazine increases reload speed. It's not particularly slow to reload, but it's not fast either, so this definitely helps in reloading that weapon. For the central perks, I got Field Scout to increase ammo capacity. Not necessary with this weapon, especially if you're just using it for PvP, because it's a monster in PvP. Um, I have Hammer Forged, improved range and accuracy. Now, if you don't know, the Fell Winter's Light is already a shotgun sniper. Um, you can hit people from dramatic range with this weapon. So to have Hammer Forged makes it even better, so you can just smash people from far away and we also got agility which we don't need but the most important thing i got was shot package aiming this weapon reduces the spread of its projectile so basically you want to be running around quick scoping with this gun it's an animal you can hit people from a dramatic range and just absolutely destroy them um, if you played iron banner you'll know you got hit with this a lot um, the only downfall to this gun is that the, the fire rate is really slow so if you miss that first shot you're more than likely dead if you might be lucky to get that second shot off, but it's very, very unlikely. So, excellent roll on that for me with only two reforges. But let's get into the one, the only, the masterpiece of my Gellion's demise. This drop for me, it was the first gun that dropped for me when I hit rank 3 after about two matches. And it dropped and it had some decent rolls and I took it to um, Lord Saladin. I hit that reforge button once, once and got these rolls. Oh my god, are you ready? Are you ready guys? Are you ready? So we have Outlaw, precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload speed. We have explosive rounds to have those explosive rounds. And we have fire, fly, precision kills with this weapon cause targets to explode. So basically I have a fate bringer in scout rifle form with more damage and more precise shots on those headshots which means the firefly will kick in a lot more often than it did on fate bringer but if i didn't want to have explosive rounds i can always switch it to high caliber rounds and i've also got custom optics if i want to but this gun in my opinion is the best gun i have ever held in my hand and i'm going to do a review on all three weapons um, especially the gellion's demise because it's just an absolute beast and an animal and that is the three weapons that i got for Iron Banner this time round. So let me know what you guys got in terms of drops and what fell for you and what, you know, if you wanted a gun and it didn't drop, what gun did you want? Um, tell me what rolls you got on it, how often you had to reforge it, how many times until you actually got the rolls that you wanted. You know, let's, let's, let's make a big um, community drop list maybe does that make sense <laughs> um so yeah hit them comment section hard guys and hit that like button even harder it helps me out a lot and it only takes you a second so please do that and i appreciate it and love you subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video Wah.